Hello! It is Tuesday, January 9th, and it is 11 a.m. in the morning, and I have uh, wrapped up the morning sale and <sighs> sneezed a bit more. <laughs> I, was, I was playing with some uh, fabric, some ribbon, uh, oh, yarn and uh, some doll wigs. It was a crafting sale this morning. And yeah, dealing with that made me sneeze a little bit. <laughs> I'm fine now, I'm good. I even organized the table without additional sneezing. So I think that is behind me now, <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> oh man. All started with Saturday and Afghanapalooza, or yeah, as uh, Apple Martini renamed it, Sneezapalooza. It, there was a little sneezing. A little too much yarn fiber in the air made me sneeze. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and talk about the morning sale and uh, what the plans are for today, because I just do one sale on Tuesdays. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and fill. I've got the table all organized with the, uh, crafting goodies on here. And, um, let's see. So I brought 43 items to the sale. I sold 19, which means 24 four are still available. Let's go ahead and look at the 24. I've kind of got the table organized um, so I can kind of just go through this. Uh, the five little straw woven hats. This one is actually two, two of those. Uh, that is two dollars for the five hats. Now they are doll stuffed animal size hats, or if you just like decorating, um, you can absolutely adorn these and have them be Easter bonnets or summer themed hats with, you know, additional adornments on them. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, the mop face doll. This is still in its original packaging. You can see it's an animal. And they recommend filling that and putting the, the mop hair on top of it. But you can do whatever you would like with that one. It's really cute. Uh, that is $1. Uh, then we're going to go through some of the hair. So this little brown piece of kind of like a braid uh, for doll hair. That one is $1. And that is the A and D hair. Uh, this one is the Wimpole hair. It is just a little piece of, you can see, extra small doll fringe hair. And that one is $1. This curly hair, which they say can be used for hairs, mustaches, beards, animal manes, tails, and fur. I have two of the brown ones. And those are one dollar each. Uh, then I'm going through my, my list here. So we're going to jump over to this hanger. This is a 10 inch scented hanger. There is some scent in there. It's going to help, I guess, keep your closet smelling nicely. Uh, that is two dollars. And I have, oh, right here, uh, shoes for a cabbage patch doll. They have little buckles on the side, and those are $2. Okay, then these next three are uh, for humans. You like, like, you know, us, not necessarily for dolls, but you can incorporate these and use parts of these for doll hair. Uh, they are $1 each, and so we have this one, which is kind of a dark blonde with lighter frosted tips. This one kind of a blonde, it is a swirl. I uh, fit that kind of around my bun as a way of using that. This one has um, 
just a like a wig top on it. And then this one has part of a clip, but that clip is broken off. Like that you would attach to have an extension on a ponytail. You can see there's blonde and some braided parts. These are $1 each. And so those three in particular are for um, human and or doll use. Uh, the others are primarily fitted for dolls. Uh, okay, now we are gonna go here. Uh, this is the one I had two of. One of them sold, one is still available. You can see I have them numbered. That one is 21. She has bangs in the front and then these ringlets in the back. And that one is $2. This one is more of an upswept hairdo. So it does have bangs. It has the curls on top, like a bun on top, and then little ringlets that hang down the side. Uh, that one is $2. That is number 23. This one, number 24, she has um, bangs and longer pigtail um, ringlets with pink bows. That one is $2, number 24. And, oh, I'll let you know here just in case you're interested. This one is number 14. This one is number 15. And this one is number 13. All right. So those are all of the wigs that are available. Um, oh, the Valentines. These are World War II Valentines. There are six cards plus the envelope. Uh, those are $8. And the patterns. Uh, these are $4 each. They are uncut patterns. This one is for a six inch cow plus the clothing. Uh, so that one, $4. This one with the bride and groom, uh, that one is for a 21 inch bear and all of the clothes that you see. So that one is $4. And then this one is for a 15 inch bear uncut and that one is four dollars okay uh some yarn that is still available this one is called autumn leaves it is by lion's brand uh it had oh here it is 110 yards on this one and that one is $2. And then these ones are $2 each. They are the same. And I'll show that one. Made in Italy. And this one has 82 yards. So it's $4 for the pair or $2 each for those. The butterfly washi tape has never been opened. It still has its little plastic sleeve on top. Uh, that one is $2. And then I have the fabric. So this one is a kit to create this uh, country cow. So you'll make the cow and the outfit. That is $8. Uh, this fabric, which is ribbed, it is a cotton fabric. There is um, one and one third yards. So it's one yard plus one foot. It is a 44 inch fabric. And that one is $6. And then the purple one is two and two thirds yards. So it's just a yard short of being three yards. It is also 44 inches. And that is $14. And all right, so that is everything that is still available. Let's go ahead and take a look at the items that sold. Okay, so we'll start down here with a couple of seasonal 
kind of crafting things. Hearts for Valentine's Day, shamrocks for St. Patrick's. We've got some angel wings, uh, some of the yarn, three, three of the yarn that sold. Um, these beautiful metal buttons, white curly hair, these two nice braids. Uh, this one is a brown curly hair for an 18 inch doll. Uh, oh, this one, kind of a strawberry blonde with lots of curls. This is the partner to the one that is still available. And then this is a bag that has, I'm going to say at least two to three brown haired um, wigs for dolls. Uh, the fabric that sold, this beautiful one with flowers and birds. And then this one, love, love both of these nice, uh, the, the patterns on the black, I think are just really pretty. Uh, and then I had some jewelry. So these are items for jewelry makers. Uh, this bag was one lot. This case with, again, some beads and components to making jewelry. That was one lot. I love this one. It looks like a little genie bottle. That is so cool. And then this is the third lot that has um, some, again, nice beads plus some fittings for uh, making jewelry. And so that was the third lot. Um, all right. So that, again, a quick little overview of everything that sold and everything that is still available. All right. I am going to flip the camera around. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is, you know, organize the table, get that all cleared off and ready to go for tomorrow because even though Jen is on vacation still, I'm going to be doing the double sale, the double Wednesday sale um, with Gina from Southern Siren Vintage. I'm going to check in with her, make sure she's doing all right, uh, but that is the plan as of right now. Um, one thing I need to do, which I haven't done yet, which we talked about because, yep, my area, just like a lot of other areas across the country, could be getting snow. So I'm going to go to my outside shed there and get my snow shovel out just to be on the safe side so I can keep my uh, walkway clear. Uh, the birds have been going crazy and uh, going through the bird seed out there, so I need to get that filled up. And because the temperatures are dipping a bit colder and I don't drive a lot of places, but I do need to keep my battery fresh in my car. So I do need to take that out for a spin today and kind of every couple days or so to, uh, to keep that nice and fresh. What else? Um, those are the main things I'm going to be working on. Aside from entering my sales right before I um, then go upstairs and spend the rest of the day packing and invoicing. Uh, so I will let you know if anything else happens. Oh, one thing that is not happening today, and that is mail pickup. Uh, last night, I, I got doing um, kind of wrapping up my year end stuff and I was tired. <laughs> I was tired, so I went to bed, and <laughs> I just said, you know what, just go to bed. If you're tired, go to bed. And I woke up at about 3.30 in the morning. I thought, well, I'm going to try to go back to sleep, and I did. I went back to sleep, so I needed some sleep. I definitely needed some extra sleep. Um, so I did not get some packing and invoicing done like I thought I was going to, but I did get some year-end stuff done. Uh, that I needed to. So that was good. Um, I did get a payment in today. So that package will go out tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So I will request pickup for tomorrow. Plus, I'll have the packages that I uh, get ready today. 
send invoices on and anything I receive payment on, then that will be added to tomorrow's stack. All right, so that pretty much takes us to where we're at. It is, ooh, it is dark and, and kind of windy and stormy outside, but I'm gonna go outside, get done what I need to get done, and um, yeah, and get uh, the table taken care of and start setting up for tomorrow. I like to do that also today. Start, like every time I come downstairs, every time I think about it, grab a few items. Plus with it just being myself and Gina tomorrow, I'll, we'll bring a few extra items um, to the sale to still have kind of the same, same amount of items that we sell. Um, all right, so I will check back in with you if anything else major happens. Otherwise, kind of a shorter vlog today. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. You'll see on the ticker if anything else happens. But again, thank you, and I'll see you later.